What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you three tools, three programs that you can use in order to scan your network. As you know, being able to scan your own network is very important because it gives you an inventory of all the live holes in your network. It gives you a baseline of what your network looks like. So in this video, I'm going to go over a brief and short list of three simple free open source uh, network scanning utility that you can run um, in your network. Of course, make sure that you have the, the permission um, to do a network scanning uh, before you do that. But I'm assuming that you have uh, authority over your own network and uh, that you want to find the um, running, uh, the holes that are running in your network. So let's get started. Uh, the, the third one in the list, I'm going to go from uh, the back to the beginning. The third one in the list, I picked uh, Angry IP Scanner. This utility, I've been using it for a long time. It is very simple to use. Um, and it it has scanned your network for available holes. And also it can scan a specific holes for open ports. So when you first, uh, by the way, I'm going to leave the link to every single one of these um, uh, tools or programs down in the description um, so you can read and download it and uh, play around with it and read the documentation. Uh, when you first open uh, Angry IP Scanner, it's going to populate uh, the range uh, uh, of IPs uh, for your network. But if it doesn't detect the right uh, range for the network, you can always go to the command prompt and do an IP config. So do IP config, press enter, uh, and find the uh, network adapter and IP address and that you're using in order to connect to your network. In this case, I'm using a wireless LAN, and this is my IP version 4. Um, needless to say that all of this uh, network scanning utility that I'm going to show you here are going to use IP version 4 uh, IP scanning. Okay, so mine is 192.168.1.69. So I'm going to do Ctrl Shift C in order to copy. And I can paste it here. And of course, I need to provide the range. So the range would be that one, that one, all the way to that one, 254. Okay. How do you know what's your network range? By looking at your subnet mask. This it'll give you the range, how many um, available or possible ho uh, possible holes uh, in your network. Once you have that range, go ahead and press start, and it'll scan the network. So as you can see, it's going to run a uh, a sweep of the network, and here at the bottom you have a progress bar indicating um, how much you have left uh, before the scanning is complete. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the scan. Um, Angry IP scan uh, takes a while because um, it not only tries to uh, get the live holes on the network, but it also tries to uh, do a port scan by default of each individual holes, giving you how many services are running on that specific host. You can modify, if you go to tool preferences, you can modify the scan. Um, you can specify the amount of threads available to these programs. Threads are simultaneously uh, running instances of the program, of the scan, um, that the uh, CPU is going to run. So the more threads, in theory, you should be able to uh, run it a faster scan. Um, you can, here on ports, you can specify the range of ports and that you want to scan. By default, it's 1 to 1024. Here, where it says display by default, it'll uh, it'll scan all uh, scan. It will it will display all scan holes, but you can all you can select only a live host. And I believe this one is a better option. Um, so I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to run the scan again. All right, so I run the scan again, and as you can see, this time uh, it gives me a better. A display of the available IP address in the uh, in the network. And notice that again, I just stopped the scan. 
Um, it takes a while because it tries to it tries to scan each individual holes for uh, open ports, which uh, you can see here. Um, so I wanted to mention before moving to the next um, utility is that uh, Angry IP Scanner, I believe that you have to have Java install your system in order to run. It's a cross-platform utility, meaning that you can run it from either Linux or Windows, but you do have to have Java installed. All right, so that is Angry IP Scanner. The next one, the next one is Advanced IP Scanner. Uh, this one, similar functionality. Um, it does basically the same thing. However, I believe in this one, um, if you go to Scanning Options, and then go to Preferences, um, Resources, here are some um, some scan preferences that you can choose to display uh, whether or not uh, RDP is running on the holes, uh, HTTPS, HTTP, uh, share folders. So you can have that uh, showing the details for each individual holes. I believe this is a very useful uh, option. So I'm going to, I recommend that you turn on um, these options here as it will give you uh, more information on the particular hole. So I'm going to click OK. And again, when you first open it, it will populate the um, uh, the, uh, the address range. Make sure you have the correct address, address range and then press scan. This one, in my opinion, works a lot faster. Um, it shows the, the results. Um, it shows them a lot faster. Um, but it doesn't give you as much information as Angry IP Scanner. All right, so the scan is complete. Um, as you can see here at the bottom, we have the de detail pane, and we have 10 holes alive in the network. And um, so these are the holes that are running on my network. And this is the uh, the status, whether it is um, up and running or is down. This is the name of the uh, domain name. This is the IP address. Uh, NetBIOS Group manufacturer of the uh, network car, the MAC address, and um, the user logged in currently logged in in the uh, in the system. If you click on a uh, on a particular host, uh, actually you can go to View and select um, and show the detail pane. This is a useful um, option here. You can show detail pane. So you can click on a particular host and it will give you more information. For example, um, if I click on this one here, I notice that I have services running, uh, open ports running on that host. I have um, share folders, the share folders that I have on that host. I have a remote desktop enabled. Um, let's pick on this one. This is, this is probably a modem. Uh, looking at the name and it has a HTTPS uh, running on the server, which is uh, basically a web server. So that is uh, the number two. Um, it's advanced IP scanner. And the number one that I wanted to show you is SendMap. Um, SendMap is basically a graphical interface for NMAP. NMAP is a great utility. It's a security utility used by many security, cybersecurity, and system administrator uh, professional. Um, and that is very good at scanning the network. It has many options. Um, you can do a full one hour program on only uh, using NMAP. Uh, but the advances, the advantage of a send map is that it gives you a graphical interface, um, which makes it easier to, to use. So again, the functionality is basically the same. You can choose to enter a single host, a target, or you can enter an IP range. For example, I'm going to do Control V in order to paste my IP address. And here, instead of my full IP address, I want to say 1.1, which is the first host, dash 254, which is the last host in the network. Okay? And here, where it says Profile, if I click on the drop-down menu, I can select many of these profiles. So basically, each one of these profiles 
has a uh, a built uh, has built-in commands for uh, uh, performing a specific scan. Um, I if I going to uh, scan my network for the first time, I want to do a quick scan. This is got this is not going to give you uh, a lot of detail. It's not going to take too long, but it, it it'll give you enough information on the available hosts as well as the services running on this on the on these hosts. So I'm going to select quick scan. Notice that when I select that profile, by the way, this is a good uh, way to learn how to use Nmap. When I select quick scan, the command is showing right here. So it's going to, this is the command that you can run from the terminal. And that is actually running in the background, which is Nmap minus T4, uh, which is the time that is going to take uh, to scan the, uh, the network, minus F and then uh, providing the uh, the range, so I'm going to go ahead and click scan, and I'm going to pause the video for a second. All right, so the scan is complete. As you can see, um, we have on the left pane here we have the holes available. Uh, we have about ten uh, holes uh, running on the network, and here on the right hand side we have a, a text based uh, information for each individual host running on the network. So this is the, the IP addresses. This is the IP address, and, and these are the uh, ports open or the services running on that a specific host. Uh, this is the MAC address, and it will provide the same information for all the hosts in the network. Uh, the cool thing about uh, SendMap is that you, in this uh, top uh, bar here, if you click on, um, if you click on topology, Notice that it gives you a visual representation of what your network looks like. You can zoom in here. Um, all right, guys, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, give it a like, and uh, hit the notification icon. See you in the next video.